converting metric weights from one unit of weight to another unit of weight. When you're dealing with the metric system, you need to know your prefixes for your metrics. Kilo, hecto, deca, whatever the unit may be, whether it's grams, liters, or meters. Those are the three most common. Deci, centi, milli. We have grams here. We want to go to kilograms. First thing I need to do with this is find where is my decimal point. I want that decimal point to be at the end of the grams column, the unit column. So I bring that over here. And then what's in front of the decimal point, I want in front of the decimal point. One number per column. I need to move my decimal point to the kilogram column. So there's my kilo. Put it at the end of the column. Get rid of my old decimal point. And there is my answer. If you are given kilograms and you want to find grams, find your decimal point. Because we have the K here, we want that decimal to be at the end of the K column. There's my K column. Fill in my numbers. I want my new decimal point to be at the G column the gram, the unit. There's my unit. New decimal point goes here. I need to fill in zeros to hold that decimal point in place. And I need to get rid of my old decimal point. I now have my answer. 18,000. So 18 kilograms is 18,000 grams. Milligrams to grams. Same process. Where is your decimal point? That decimal point is going to go at the end of the milli. There is milli. Fill in my numbers. My new decimal point is going to go at the end of the grams column. My units. Get rid of my old decimal point. And there is my number. So 112 milligrams is the same as 0.112 grams. Last example for this set. 16.23 grams is how many milligrams? Here I'm actually told where my decimal point is. I want that decimal point to be in my grams column. Grams is the main unit, so I put it at the end of the grams column. Fill in the numbers in front of the decimal. So in front of this decimal, I have the 6 and the 1. So I have 16 point. 16 point. After the decimal, I have 23. So after the decimal, I want 23. So this number matches 
what I have here. I want my new decimal point to be at the end of the milli column. There is my milli. Follow that down. There's my new decimal point. I have a blank space here, so I need to fill it in with a zero to hold that decimal in place. I need to get rid of my old decimal. I now have my answer. 16,230. Sixteen point twenty three grams is equal to sixteen thousand two hundred thirty milligrams. Converting in the metric system is as easy as moving your decimal point.